There are two reference point words that the Apostle Paul frequently uses to delineate the big issues in our lives. One is flesh and the other is spirit. They are like locational code words referring to life without Jesus and life with Jesus. By which word are you living today? Here's Dr. Jim Bradford with more on today's Central Moment. I welcome you to Central Moments again today. So good to be with you. Verse 16 now of Galatians 5 as we continue through that wonderful letter. So I say, walk by the Spirit, Paul writes. I say, walk by the Spirit and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. So the, so now Paul, especially in the next, through, through the rest of the chapter, he's going to use two really important code words, flesh and spirit. Flesh is uh, that... That, that sinful nature in us, or that part of our lives not influenced by the Holy Spirit, as opposed to spirit. But even more, flesh and spirit become locational code words. We, we do in our calendar um, B.C., before Christ, and A.D. And so before Christ, after Christ, uh, flesh is like the B.C. word, and spirit is like the A.D. word. It's like before we encounter Christ in the power of his spirit, that's flesh. And after we encounter Jesus, he brings us his spirit. So they become code for where we're located spiritually and also for how we live, what we yield to as the influence in our lives. So I say, he said, walk by the spirit and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. There's two different ways. Uh, you don't live, we don't live in our BC condition. We live in the AD condition where we participate in the spirit. 4, verse 17, uh, for the flesh desires what is contrary to the spirit. It's a battle. And the spirit desires what's contrary to the flesh. They are in conflict with each other so that you are not to do whatever you want. I mean, whatever you want, maybe the, voice, the, the flesh, your, your, your fallen sinful nature speaking. And, and you don't want to go there. But if you are led by the spirit, you're not under the law. This, of course, reminds us of how Paul unpacks this at length in his uh, letter to the Roman church. And in Romans 7, it's a very misunderstood uh, scripture, but he talks about flesh and spirit again. And, and he says in verse 21 of Romans 7, I find this law at work. Although I want to do good, evil is right there within me. That would be the flesh part. For my inner being, in my inner being, I delight to do God's law. I want, I want to do what's right. But I see another law at work in me, waging war against the law of my mind and making me a prisoner of the law of sin at work in me. Now, many people interpret that passage as saying, uh, yeah, the flesh is contrary to the spirit, the spirit's contrary to the flesh, uh, but Paul says the flesh keeps winning in my life. The flesh keeps winning. And so I've heard it preached, you know, Paul did not really have victory over sin. He's saying here, you know, I sin all the time. Uh, there's, I, I don't want to sin, but I do, because we still live in the flesh. That seems totally contrary to everything else Paul says. What he's really doing is saying, you know, the law of God, to obey God, to live, um, to live in a way I ought to live. I mean, that's right. The law is holy. But the law doesn't give you power over sin. It doesn't give you power over flesh. You, you can have the law of God, but still only have your flesh and your sinful inclinations to disobey God. And so, and so that's why uh, a few verses later, Romans 8, 1, he said, that, but, but there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Because through Christ, the law of the Spirit who gives life has set you free from the law of sin and death. So Paul was using kind of a hypothetical. He said, before I met Christ, in my B.C. days, I had the law, but I had no power to overcome sin. But when Jesus came, everything changed. He, he, condemned, uh, he condemned sin, so there's no condemnation for us. Because through Jesus, the law of the flesh, no, the law of the Spirit who gives life has set us free from the law of sin and death. Finally, through Jesus and the coming of his Spirit, we can have the power to overcome the inclinations of the flesh. And that's why in Galatians, he says, so I say, walk by the Spirit and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. And may God help us to do that. We don't need to live in constant defeat 
uh, over sin. We, we don't need to live by the flesh. We, we're not living in a pre-Christ condition. We're living in a time and place where Jesus has come and died for us, defeated sin, and he gives us the power of his spirit. So, Lord, we thank you. We just receive it. We confess um, any unconfessed sin in our lives, and especially the habitual things of sin. We pray you'll break those patterns in Jesus' names, those bondages, those addictions. My God, break them by the power of Jesus and let the Spirit of God give us victory so that we don't live by the flesh, but we live by your Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.